Assalamu alaikum. I'm Fatima Iqbal, Senior Investment Strategist here at Azad. We'd like to share with you today our market outlook for 2021, as told by a few of the many investment professionals who manage your money. We'll start with a broad perspective from Joe Cortese at DeMeo Schneider, Azad's outsourced Chief Information Officer. Once he set the stage, we'll transition over to Ihab Salib at Federated Hermes for a look at fixed income markets in 2021. And last but not least, Gary Mitchell from DF Dent will give us his insights on the stock market. This market outlook is not intended to be exhaustive, but it offers you a glimpse of the diversity of thought and experience our lineup of investment professionals bring to the table. As I mentioned, we have several firms who manage money for each of our investment strategies. They work every day to bring you the kind of quality asset management services that you deserve. Thank you for watching. The punchline in terms of what we expect from a, an asset class outlook standpoint, uh, slightly lower returns um, relative to what we were thinking at the bottom of the uh, sort of the COVID pandemic in April of this year. And what are some of the things that uh, you know are driving those forecasts? Well, cash uh, essentially earning zero. It's a, it, it remains an expensive opportunity cost. Inflation is still running at about 1.8% or so. So holding assets in cash is not a good option because you're, you're clearly losing out to inflation and your purchasing power is being eroded. So we need to invest in order to keep pace with inflation. Um, when I talked about a bond, our expectations for fixed income and interest rates coming down. Um, so that can impact things like Scoop on a go forward basis as well. Uh, global stock market valuations rose in 2020. Um, as, uh, as, uh, as, as prices rose, um, as, as we sort of recovered uh, from, from the COVID pandemic and, and prices rose faster than earnings capacity. Um, so again, you saw multiple expansions is what we call it when prices rise faster than the corresponding earnings. You're paying a higher multiple for those earnings. Some uh, key observations and drivers, um, expectations for 2021, you know, again, it's, it's really all eyes on our policymakers, both the Federal Reserve, on the monetary side and our, um, you know, our, our government policymakers on the fiscal side. Uh, what are they going to be doing this year uh, you know, with a new administration coming into the office? Uh, there is talk of additional stimulus. There is almost a promise of additional stimulus and aid uh, coming to, to help uh, small businesses and, and consumers. Um, and then uh, potential obstacles in 2021. Again, all eyes remain on COVID and the rollout of the vaccines. Markets are really trading on kind of the day-to-day, -day, what happens with the vaccines. We get good news uh, as it relates to the vaccine rollouts, markets kind of go up. We get bad news as it relates to the vaccine rollouts and, and markets will fall a little bit. And markets will likely perform um, uh, to the extent that that vaccination effort works or it doesn't work. So that we'll need to keep a very close eye on that. That underscores the need for a broadly diversified portfolio given the amount of uncertainty, really tremendous, almost unprecedented uncertainty remains with, throughout economies and financial markets. More, uh, more now than ever, we think a broadly diversified approach, a mix of more stable assets like fixed income or SACOOP, uh, a mix of uh, different types of equities, US equities, international equities, perhaps some emerging market equities, uh, and also things on the real asset side like real estate. Now more than ever, a thoughtfully diversified investment approach makes sense. And we will continue to support our friends at Azad in bringing you a uh, thoughtfully diversified uh, portfolio construction options uh, that should, uh, in fact, over the long run, achieve your long run investment goals and objectives. The pandemic also caused huge dislocation and volatility in the financial markets, which pushed global central banks and governments to take steps to stabilize the global economy. Those actions, the almost unlimited monetary and fiscal stimulus, is what shapes the outlook or our outlook for 2021, which is positive for many asset classes, but more specifically for short-dated investment-grade fixed income securities, which make up the majority of the holdings in the Azad Wise Capital Fund. At Federated Hermes, we manage over 80 billion in fixed income assets around the world. That gives us broad exposure and experience 
almost any fixed income opportunity out there, including Islamic compliant fixed income products like Sakuk and trade finance, which make up the majority of the holdings of the fund. When we think about what lessons we learned managing accounts for our clients during the pandemic, the most important lesson, and this has been true of other market downturns and corrections, is that it's very important that we stick with our investment process. Our investment process has served our clients very well for 46 years. It's a quality growth investment process. We feel that if we stick with that process and focus on the right kinds of companies, the companies that are going to grow their earnings substantially faster than the market over a long period of time, that the performance, the stock price appreciation will take care of itself and those portfolios will outperform the market over a long period of time. As we look ahead, we're fairly cautious about the markets. We've had a very strong run over the last several years, and bull markets uh, end eventually, and often they end suddenly and unexpectedly. We see as risks to the market now, rising interest rates, inflation, elevated unemployment, also uncertainties about vaccine effectiveness on COVID-19 variants. You might have read about that in the news recently. However, we feel that the market is now supported by certain factors which cause it to have an upward tilt. And those factors include interest rates remaining low near historic lows and support of the economy by the Federal Reserve through its monetary policy and by Congress through its fiscal policy. So we feel that the market does have a near-term upward bias in 2021.